hi guys hello how you doing welcome back to my youtube channel good morning good afternoon good evening from wherever you're watching this video from it's your girl wongo Jaws from kenya africa and today i'm gonna be doing a very personal video very sensitive it's not easy doing this video it's probably gonna be the hardest video i'm gonna ever do on this platform because um it has characters and incidences that I don't like to remember but now I have two. I'm gonna be sharing with you about uh, how I became a single mother and apparently I was 22 but I, by the time I was getting my baby I was 23. Um, so welcome so much and please remember to subscribe, to like, share and comment down there. Please let me know your experience or what you think about this video. So guys welcome so my story begins um back then i was single very much single and then a friend of mine a friend of mine uh requested me to accompany her to a party that she had been invited into and didn't want to go alone so i was like yeah i'm 22 i'm young i should have fun you know before i get old and all that and my african parents because they trusted me they knew i was a responsible person and this was the first time i'm requesting to go for a party at night so they wholeheartedly granted me permission to go for that party and i should i i i sh if if they had refused probably i would have been so mad but they trusted me and i dressed to queue and then went out to have the party so we got there, we were welcomed, and it was a lit party, it was a house party. And I remember my friend telling me, oh my god, this host looks so hot. And I was like, I'm not the kind of a person who's gonna stop in the middle of the road to see a cute person and be like, oh my god, you're so hot. No, for me, I'm gonna be like, yeah, you look hot. But, you know, life goes on. Uh, I, I do appreciate, I don't mean I don't appreciate people, but I'm not the kind of a person who's gonna be glued onto somebody's face just because they look good you know I, i'm gonna appreciate them and just move on I'm not, I'm not like i don't even think when i see a celebrity i'm gonna be like oh my god, oh my god. no like, you know i i am not so super hyper yeah but i appreciate them i don't mean i don't appreciate them so but anyway my point is uh he was not the person i was interested in or i was actually mingling with another person so he was out of question of course he's the host he has nice house he looks good you gotta be expecting that he has maybe a lot of chicks around him and all that so i wasn't into him anyway i didn't i couldn't even remember his face from that night yeah but then anyway after the party life just moved on and after like a week of going back to work i remember a friend telling me the host guy is asking me for your number and i was like who <laughs> he was cute by the way <laughs> he was cute now i remember <laughs> i remember he was cute so i was like oh okay mm. so he he started chatting we started talking and uh, it came a time we started planning on how to meet and we met and we met several times and then there was this time he told me his friend one of the friends is hosting a party and we should go and it was awesome and we went and we had a lot of fun and uh, that night yeah so and um after that yeah that that was the highlight yeah that that was the highlight so um and probably some gonna somebody gonna be asking me like if you um of course you knew about protection and everything else and being cautious but that shit happens when you trust people so much so my biggest mistake was trusting people very much so anyway moving on um where i come from there's a saying that says that um a wise person does not have to be told everything you can fill in the gaps yeah so i trusted him a lot and it was after so after after that day uh you know just life went on and 
we were not living so close so it would take like a few days before we meet again probably a week so by the time we were starting to plan when we should meet again now ladies and gentlemen i had started feeling sickly but then before i get to the sick part um my friend also had changed like we were no longer getting so close anymore and we were like prior to the incident or to meeting this person or to the party uh we were so free that we'd talk everything and anything uh her phone would ring or a message would come in and uh, she'd be like who's calling me i would check and vice versa but now th- i remember there was this time we were talking then her phone i don't know whether it was ringing or it was a message and she grabbed it and was like oh my god did you see anything and i'm like was i supposed to see anything and I was like ah no 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 but then i knew something was cooking something fishy was happening and that is the day she stopped to come in to work where so anyway life goes on and i started to get sick a lot a lot and i would go to the hospital and i took drugs for malaria and i took drugs for amoeba and i is it amoeba or amoeba and i took drugs for typhoid that hospital should be closed because anyway every time i, I was told you know we should do a test for pregnancy no 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 need <laughs> deny 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 hey try i don't even know why they gave me those drugs but honestly i think i was also lying i cannot remember if detail it's like six years back yeah it's six years where so um i i took all those drugs and i still was not getting well and now i had to, to take the test actually it's my mom who called me and i was away and she was like are you sure you're not pregnant i'm like oh my god she knows so i took a test and it confirmed i was and i decided no this is not it can't be i know i know it could be but there there has to be a mistake so i went to the hospital and they confirmed and i just wanted they had to open up and swallow me but yeah now moving on i let the person know by now the communication was also getting was getting weaker on my side i think it was getting stronger on the other side because of course they were talking because now of course when the friend grabbed the phone definitely was him that they were chatting or was calling i don't I, hey god this life this life <laughs> who does that anyway i i really hate to think about it i hate to think about their existence i don't even know good thing the people that are around me uh also don't even know what happened to those guys so to to especially um the friend because no one knows about her whereabouts anyway it's a good thing yeah so that that thing does not have to be rubbed on my face all the time i see her or think about it so i usually don't um uh, so where was i um mm-hmm. so the communication was getting weaker and weaker and then i i just informed him that uh yeah i am i'm 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 paged and uh he was like oh my god what are we going to do oh my what what sorry what are we going to do this is a 25 year old grown ass man working for the government asking a 22 year old seasonal hustler that she has that he has made pregnant what they should do chai people can be dumb you know like uh, some people especially those that I have dated say that i have a big ego and yeah it's true i don't like to settle for less so i was like oh my god is this the person i was dying to have and is asking me this kind of a question 
for crying out loud who should be asking who this kind of question it's me who should be asking him right now anyway that tells you that the person was not ready and what i decided to do is not be bitter with them because if i'm bitter with him then i'm gonna be bitter for the rest of my life and i don't want that um what i i accepted that i i also did a mistake and I accepted the consequences so that is what has moved me so i knew definitely that he was not ready for this and i'm not mad at him you know we we didn't plan this you know but i had to take responsibility i'm just not mad at him because i don't want my life to be bound to one thing yeah i don't want kufungwa na hiyo makasiriko to one position no i'm an ego i'm meant to fly yeah whatever he can provide i can do it for my baby and i have had support of friends my family and i know god will give me a partner that will be supportive you uh when you get there we shall cross that bridge so at some point he even asked if i could give him the baby and i'm like no i can't i will never so and it's uh, i blocked him and then after after like two years or three years i actually wasn't bitter but i just decided to text him on facebook so i texted him a very long one and then i i remember i ended it with please block me so that i'm not tempted to to write you again and because i have a big ego before he could even block me i decided to block him so i don't even know whether he responded or blocked me i don't care i don't give a hoot life goes on so we are now six years yeah my ameba my typhoid is nice <laughs> and she has really brought a lot of joy in my family oh my god a lot of happiness in my family actually there's this song about mungu akileta mtoto analeta analeta sahani yake ama sahani ni yake the watch or the plate my baby came with her plate because for like a whole year i didn't buy clothes except zile nguo zenye you buy when you're preparing for the pregnancy for the baby to come after that i got visitors i got i even remember a friend of mine took me for clinic like a friend would just volunteer take me for a clinic when the baby came somebody with a car just told me can i take you for a clinic oh my god you i'm telling you god has a plan for everything and even when human beings frustrate you just trust in god that one i can give you for sure that god has been my my rock my everything like he just provide everything i don't know if you told me that at 22 years old i could raise a baby i i i, I would have said you're crazy but just somehow somewhere he just god just provide stuff you know so anyway there have been ups and downs sometimes especially mentally and emotionally but life goes on yeah we struggle we fight every day we you know we we are meant to conquer so we just keep pushing even as things get tough we just we just have to keep trying right my people we just have to keep trying and honestly i have no regrets and if there's anything any one thing that i'm so thankful to god about is that um okay for me it was an advantage that we were not so tight so i would have felt the impact if he dumped me you know but we were not we were still in the process of getting to know each other so it wasn't like a lot of frustration i thank god for one thing which is uh, that i i i was i did not struggle so much with uh, bitterness no i one thing i i do is this i i don't care whether he exists or not or he like Tayo says i don't care whether he eats or he's not there i i don't give a hoot i don't but i will also never say ill things about him to my daughter you know i'm just there's no need so i'm just grateful that i am not bitter at all and uh it is such a blessing so guys that have been my story and i am so thankful to my friends my family yeah for every support so now allow me to take this opportunity to thank you for watching my video for subscribing for liking for commenting down there if you have a, a comment if you're a single mother you can comment down there if you love this story or you have anything to say just comment and i really appreciate it. thank you guys for 
keeping on subscribing and liking. I appreciate so much. Till next video. Thank you so much.